Hi Discoverers, how are you guys today? Um, some may know me, some may forgot, but I miss Tyler. Um, today, I am going to help Miss Raven out for today. So, the word of the week is habitat. Do you know what a habitat is? A habitat is the type of environment in which a particular species or organism lives. A habitat is a place where you can find food, shelter, protection, and mates for reproduction. People have habitats, animals have habitats, and today I'm going to read a book that's called This is the Earth and show you different examples about habitats, okay? So let's go, let's go. As you can see, that's the earth, and this is the moon. Cool, cool. All right, this is the earth. Let's see if you guys can see it. Okay, this is the land, fertile, alive, crawling with creatures that help it to thrive. So, as you can see, two weeks ago we learned we learned about. Africa and we learned about this habitat. This is the animals habitat where they live and this is their environment. Okay. This is the river flowing and free, streaming with fish as it swells to the sea. Now, as you can see in this one, this is the fish habitat. Fish habitat can either be in the ocean or rivers or lakes. All right. This is the sky ended in blue, speckled with birds as they soar into view. Now, the, the bird habitat is either in the sky, but they also have bird nests. It's pretty cool. Okay. This is the earth washed by the rain that fills up the creek and peels over the plain and nurtures the soil planted with seed so people can harvest the food but the food that they need and blind houses from stone and from trees cut by the hand in the towering forest that shelters the land that protects and preserves those who tend it with care as together we live on this earth that we share. So in this one, this is their habitat. This is their land. So they're staying on their land. And then the animals, they're on their farm, which is also their habitat. This is the spike driven into ground for the, railway, for the railways connecting the fast growing towns. This is the steamer with, with coal and with wood, transporting its cargo of people and goods. This is the plane as it roars into the flight, stretching its wings and reaching new heights. This is the earth where new buildings rise into towers of steel overshading skies as workers pour railways of concrete and tar so commuters can travel by bus and by car to the cities for jobs that will pay a fair wage in this fast moving, busy industrial age. When we build, we expand, we invent and we dare, and we change how we live on the earth that we share.
This is the landfill, a growing gray mound of garbage that steams on the sweltering ground. This is the pipe draining into the sea, spilling on wastewater, muck and debris. So on this page, these two pictures are not good for the habitat. You see the, the yucky stuff is getting into the ocean and then over here it's just bad stuff everywhere they're just dropping it with no place to put it this is the smoke billowing black spewing from chimneys and factory stacks This is the earth polluted by greed as we take what we want, which is more than we need. Where bulldozing trucks clear the rainforest floor and sand washes away from the banishing shore. You see? where huge arctic glaciers melt into the sea and fumes and exhaust choke the air that we breathe. And danger and nature create and depair. We forget how to live on this earth that we share. These are the birds where the bottles and cans Oh, sorry. These are the bins where the bottles and cans and the papers await the recycling bans. This is the bicycle racing to school. The pedaling rider provides all the fuel. This is the faucet where every drop counts, releasing the water and the careful amounts. As you can see in this picture, they're trying to do better for the habitat. They have the recycling bins, you have the little guy putting flowers in, you have you see her watering the plants, you see them driving their bikes instead of the cars. This is the earth that we treat with respect where people and animals interconnect, where we learn to find balance between give and take and help heal the planet with choices we make. Like walking or biking, not, talk, not taking the car or sharing a ride if the journey is far using less water to get ourselves clean, painting trees in the city to help it grow green. Bringing your reusable bag to the store and flipping the switch when we head out the door. So always remember to recycle, it's good for the habitat. making a difference becoming aware together we live on this earth that we share all right and that's it for the book wow that book was cool right right so everyone needs a home who needs a home i need a home who needs a home you need a home who needs a home everyone needs a home that they call their habitat okay also two new letters of the week and they are e and h and guess what e earth starts with e and habitat starts with h all right discovers that's all i have for today you guys have been a good help and thank you this is my first video today so please bear with me um okay bye discoverers